All right. So today, like I said, we're talking about how to form writing in history. Um, and we're talking about the response we're going to make to our prompt, how barbaric was a barbarian. So we're going to be writing about the Mongols and um, what they did. So what do we need? So what do we really need when we're starting to write? What's the first thing that we should have when we're writing about history, when we're writing a paragraph or an essay? So Eli says a topic sentence. Do we agree with Eli? Yes, no, shake heads yes, thumbs up, or write in the chat. I'm the title before that. Well, <clears throat> the title's off in the prompt, so yeah. So many of you agree, you need a topic sentence. Now, does anyone know another word for topic sentence? I know this is a word that Mr. LaRose uses with you. It does start with a, a T, just like topic. Mm, not title, not title. It's a good guess. What else do you need that's uh, considered topic topic? Topographical, head sentence, no, top, topography is the la study of land. A thesis. Come on, you guys have heard the term thesis, right? Some of you are like, I could see, and some of you are like, no, nah, some of you are like, yeah. Huh, Mr. LaRose said he talked about theses with you all. Maybe he meant the other sixth grade. Hmm. Because Iris is pretty trustworthy, and she looks like she hasn't heard this, so I'm going to trust Iris. Iris shakes her head, she's not trustworthy, okay. <laughs> now, you need to start off with what is your topic or opinion, your idea. Now, I want to warn you, I am going to be ridiculously silly at this point. Do not take what I am saying for my thesis as the truth. I do not believe this, but I wanted to give you an example so you could see how this is done. So my thesis, the way I want to start this is the most craziest thing you'll ever hear out of my mouth. The Mongols were the nicest group that has ever ruled. <laughs> Looking at some of your faces is funny with that. So I'm starting with my thesis. The Mongols were the nicest group that has ever ruled. Do any of you, so we voted earlier on a poll, were the Mongols barbarians not? Do any of you have an idea of how you might want to start yours? Oh, Hayden's hand jumped up real fast. What would you like to say, Hayden? Um, I would uh, say that my thesis is like, I think the Mongols are mainly barbarians. And then I would go into gathering every little bit of detail. Oh, man, you're already getting ahead. Man, look at you getting ahead. I bet right now Miss Anzik doesn't know why, but a little tear has like come to her eye with the joy of your awesomeness. It's like, why am I crying? <laughs> Us teachers, we have a sixth sense about it. So what do we need? And yes, that is Sasquatch on a unicorn. You need supporting information, which Hayden totally just got us right into. Yeah, Nora's like, I want a unicorn Sasquatch rider. Uh, and so we need to support this. So, because the other thing is, you can have your opinion, but you have to prove it. You need to have evidence, okay? So here's how I support that the Mongols were the nicest group ever. Remember, I'm being silly. I don't believe that. The Mongols gave all of their conquered subjects rainbow unicorns. I mean, that sounds pretty nice, right? I couldn't find like a rainbow unicorn picture, so this is the best I had. I wanted to like Photoshop a Mongol on a unicorn, but it just I, it didn't work out. Now, can I just say something like that, though? What do I need? Mikhail says, no, I can't just say something. Why can't I just say something? Amanda says, elaboration. Elaboration is great. Explaining, saying more. I love that. There's something else I definitely need, though, too. Detail. Detail kind of goes with elaboration. I need to prove. Thank you, Mikhail. Oh, man, you rock. Text evidence. Yes, facts. Oh, distance high five. Oh, I love you guys. You're the best. So I want to cite my source. I need to prove that it came from somewhere. So since we had 10 documents, I have my imaginary 11th document because all of this is fake. Remember that. This is fake. And this is something really important because especially nowadays, there's a lot of information that comes out that you need to check the source because sometimes people say things that aren't true. All right. And they say, oh, yeah, this happened. I have this 
blurry picture on my phone that totally proves it. No, you need real proof, you know, and this is one of the things. So I have the Mongols gave all their conquered subjects rainbow unicorns from document 11. Document 11 isn't real. Yes, Aiden. Um, isn't there like two different types of evidence? There's like the straight facts coming from like a documentary or something from that exact person, and then there's like something made by something someone else that was Secondary there. Yeah, exactly. Very good. Very good. Oh man, she's probably like bawling this Anzac right now with all the glory. <clears throat> Remember, these are crazy. Now, can I stop there after I've given only one little bit of proof though? No. We need to do this one to three more times. All right. So the Mongols believe in feeding all their subjects Taco Tuesdays. Prevailed in the conquered areas could choose between beef, chicken, and shrimp tacos. Document 14. And the Mongols, after, remove, after removing ears to count the dead, would offer free ear piercings to add that extra pizzazz people were looking for. Document 13. See, see, I am proving that the Mongols were the nicest ever. I mean, extra pizzazz. I loved how I talked about like removing the ears. That was like right when I was just, like fixing her hair over here, getting it ready for her Mongol overlord to place it off. <laughs> Remember, I'm being silly. Don't take this as truth. So we have given our thesis, our topic. We have proven it with fact. What do we need at the end? How do we how do we how do we end this though? Can we do we just go on forever? What do we do, Nora? Do we do an ending closing? Ending or closing? I like the word conclusion, but it's the same idea. We need a way to wrap it up. So an ending sentence, a closing sentence, a conclusion, it's all the same thing. You need to restate your thesis, your restate your idea, your opinion. What do you believe here? And if you want to have a je ne sais quoi, that's certain something, you typically want to wrap some of your supporting details in there. So my supporting, my conclusion sentence, truly, it's always fun to add a word like that. The Mongols were amazingly kind to their subjects. From the gifts of the unicorn to the Taco Fridays, because I made a mistake because I really said Tuesdays earlier, and the free ear piercings, the Mongols ruled with kindness. Remember, I'm being redonkulously silly here, okay? So, what does this all look like together? Now, because I'm going to want you guys and your Mongol paragraphs, which you're going to be starting today in the afternoon and finishing in class tomorrow, I want you going and having a complete total package. So, this is my complete total package. The Mongols were the nicest group that has ever ruled. They gave gifts of food and bling to their conquered subjects. The Mongols loved horses, so they gave all their conquered subjects rainbow unicorns, document 11. Notice how I just have the document in parentheses so that we knew where it would come from. So you're going to do the same thing. You know, maybe Iris wants to talk about how mean they are and just say, uh, document five shows a picture of them executing prisoners by using them as like human target practice or burying them alive. I mean, document five, you know, that's great support right there. The Mongols believed in feeding all their subjects. Taco Tuesdays prevailed where they conquered areas could choose between beef, chicken, and shrimp tacos, document 14. Finally, the Mongols, after removing the ears to count the dead, would offer free ear piecings to have that extra pizzazz people were looking for, document 13. Truly, the Mongols were amazingly kind to their subjects. From the gifts of unicorns, the Taco Fridays, which should say Tuesdays, and the free ear piercings, the Mongols ruled with kindness. So do we see how all of those parts come together? And why couldn't we just do a project or a quiz? Because it's important for us to flex our muscles. And did you see how quickly and easily we were able to put this together? This really won't be too bad. So the document is how we're citing our sources, um, Eli. So we say, you know, so when Iris talked about how terrible they were, how they used people as human target practice in the picture, that's parentheses, doc, document five, and parentheses, you know. Um, when Amanda talks about how the Mongols were actually really nice, she might talk about how they improved the economies by building infrastructure, which was document six or seven, I can't remember which one, and she would have that in the parentheses. So you wanna always have evidence, proof for what you did. The documents that we've been looking at all this time, Broski, 
So if we go and look at our paragraph assignment, I went in for you, for you. That's right, you. I have this little link here so you can see all of the documents once again together. So you don't have to go through each of the assignments you did. You got your 10 documents in there. It has that little reading we did in the beginning, and then you've got your document one, the map. Does that make more sense now? Wunderbar, and it tells you what document is on top. I keep on pointing my screen like you can see what I'm pointing at. Oh, I miss teaching you in person. Yeah, there's document five. Ugh, gross. Yes, Joel, sir. I don't have a question. I was just putting my hand up. Oh, okay. Now, there might be a few of you who say, Senor Kenny, I am too amazing for something this simplistic. I need more. And you're right. Some of you, some of you do. So if you want to stretch yourself, you can actually make this a full essay where instead of having it just be one paragraph, you could have a topical kind of area for each of the paragraphs. Because an essay is typically five paragraphs, sometimes four. We have your introduction where it's a whole paragraph. Bring up what you're going to say. Second paragraph might be about how nice they were. And you just go and talk about what we just did. Then it might talk about what their great military tactics, how, you know, they had all their kids on um, horses and they built the scarecrows to make their army look bigger and how they pretend they're retreating and then come back. And you say what documents there are. And you'd have another paragraph about their culinary skills, how when they wanted to really go far, they would just drink the horse's blood because it was so tasty and nutritious. <laughs> all right. That is going to be um, what we are doing for our paragraph. I'm going to end the recording there. Now, 